Hello Vores for San Mel Magic the Gathering Players, I am Prospo, and I welcome you to EDH Scout. Today, I will introduce you to the Tribal Flavor Scoring System. We will use the Goblins Tribe for this introduction, as Goblins are one of the biggest tribes in Magic's history. The Tribal Flavor Scoring System is a 25 point scoring scale that helps you evaluate the Magic the Gathering cards in order to assemble the most flavorful Tribal EDH deck. Its card is evaluated for the flavor it has against each tribe. The tribe is treated as an MTG mechanic. The cards that match the criteria to score points are included to the card pool that a prop of Orphus and Mel Magic the Gathering player should consider for his tribal EDH commander deck. If a card can score more than one points in the scoring scale, the highest score is finally considered as the score of the card, especially for the Goblins tribe. There are a total 602 cards that score four or more flavor points. At first glance, the tribal scoring scale is a bit complicated, let's analyze it to make it more clear. The first three slots of the scale are occupied by generic tribal cards, they can help especially other weaker tribes that have fewer members in their card pool. Cards with one flavor point are generic tribal cards, such as cards with changeling. With two flavored points of cards that create a benefit from the tribe members. Some of them such as mana echoes can be part of powerful combos. Cards with three flavored points act as lords or anthems for the tribe members. Let's move on to the four flavor points. From now on we have more tribe specific cards. There are 157 cards in MTG's history who mention goblins in the flavor text or have a goblin in the art. Such card as the famous Threaten and the powerful Bedevil. In both cards, treacherous goblins are depicted in the art. With five flavored points, we have cards that have the word goblin or the name of a goblin character or tribe in the name of the card. There are a total 27 cards to meet this criteria for goblins. Such cards are the popular Sacrifice Outlet, Goblin Bombardment and Krak's Thumb. Moving on to six flavored points, we have goblins that boost or create other creature types. In this slot there are total eight cards. Such cards are the Steam Flogger Boss, a Lord for Riggers, and the Mad Ratter, who creates rats. The Goblins Tribe have 20 cards, with seven flavor points. These are goblin cards that benefit from other subtypes or mechanics. Such cards are the Skirk Outrider, who gets a boost if you control a beast. Kra Clan Grunt pumps himself by sacrificing artifacts. With eight flavored points, a goblin cards that create a benefit from other subtypes or mechanics. The Goblin Tribe has 31 such cards. Zadda's Commando deals one damage to an opponent if you tap him and another ally you control. Gutter Snipe deals two damage to each opponent every time you cast an instant or sorcery spell. Nine flavored points have non-goblin cards that benefit from goblins. There are only five cards to meet these criteria. Auntie's Hovel is a land that comes into play untapped if you reveal a goblin card from your hand. Stench Skipper leads goblins into play to survive. Non-goblin cards that create a benefit from goblins score 10 points. There are a total 11. Cabal Slaver gives the ability to goblins you control to force your opponents to discard cards when they deal combat damage to them. With Goblin Grenade, you actually toss a goblin to any target and deal 5 damage. 11 points to have cards that are not goblins, but create goblins once. There are 19 such cards. Both Hordling Outburst and Marsh Flitter create goblin tokens. Nine non-goblin cards can create or bring goblins several times. These have 12 flavor points. Goblin Assault create a goblin token at each of your upkeeps and mog catcher tutors and puts into play goblins. On the top of the list of non-goblin cards, with 13 points, are 5 cards that act as lords, or anthems for goblins, or even bist goblins. 
Such cards are the Drow News Crusade and Goblin Burrows. With 14 flavored points, are cards with a goblin subtype, but no other interactions with a goblin's tribe or other tribes or mechanics. In the first group, a total 32 goblins that have a downside. Such goblins are the famous Goblin Guide, who gives lands to your opponent when attacks, and Goblin Raider who can't block. In the second group, there are 10 vanilla goblins. Monza's Goblin Raiders and Goblin Assailant are the representative goblins of this group. In the third group, are goblins with an upside. There are 138 cards in this group. Such cards are the Goblin Dynamo and Murderous Redcap. Moving up the scale with 15 flavored points are cards with a goblin subtype that benefit from other types that can be goblins. There are 13 cards with this score. Goblin Cohort and Foundry Street Denizen benefit from other creatures which can be goblins, but they don't have to. 16 flavored points have goblin cards that create a benefit from and for other types that can be goblins. There are a total 14 such cards. Vile Smasher deals damage to an opponent according to the first spell converted mana cost you cast each turn. Vexing Shusha protects your spells from counter spells. Next on the scale, with 17 points, a total 25 goblin cards that conditionally boost other types that can be goblins. Such cards are the famous goblin bushwhacker, who pumps all your creatures if he was kicked. Ankle Shanker gives to your creatures first strike and death touch when he attacks. Only 6 cards have 18 flavor points. These cards are goblins that have a static ability that boosts other types that can be goblins. Grum Gully, the generous, gives a plus one plus one counter to each non-human creature you control that enters the battlefield. Boar Tusk Leech is a lord for your red and green creatures. From now on, there are goblins that care about other goblins. Starting with 19 flavored points, we have 10 goblins that benefit from other goblins. Goblin Pile Driver increases his power according to the number of other attacking goblins, and Knuckle Bone Witch gets a plus one plus one counter for each goblin you control dies. 20 flavored points have goblin cards that create a benefit from other goblins. There are 18 goblins like that. Munitions Expert deals damage to target creature or planeswalker equal to the goblins you control. Bogget Shenanigans is a goblin driable enchantment that pings a player's each time a goblin you control dies. 12 cards have 21 flavor points. These are goblins that create more goblins once. Wurt, the Raid Mother, creates two goblins when she enters the battlefield, and Warren Weddings can trade one goblin for two. Moving up the scale, 9 cards have 22 points. These are goblin cards that create goblins repeatedly. Such cards are Goblin Rabble Master and Weirding Shaman. 23 flavored points have goblin cards that bring more goblins. There are 12 cards that deal a tutor or cheat goblins into play. Bogat Harbinger is a tutor and Goblin Lackey cheats goblins into play. Next we have 5 cards with 24 flavor points. These are goblins that conditionally boost goblins. Goblin General pumps your goblins each time he attacks and Goblin Pyromancer pumps your goblins when he enters the battlefield. And finally, on the top of the scale, with 25 flavor points, are the Goblin Lords. There are a total 7 of them. Best Goblin Lord so far is Goblin Chieftain. Catrawalling Boggart scores 25 points as well, as he gives all your goblins menace. And that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed the tribal flavor scoring system for goblins. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon for more Magic the Gathering tribal videos.